Welcome to Remote Image Deployment with Smart Deploy. This video is intended to guide you through a simple network-based deployment of an image containing an OS, applications, and settings to a target device using the Smart Deploy Enterprise console. First, we will install the agent just so the target device and console can communicate. Next, we will create a deployment package, which contains the settings you want applied to the target machine. And lastly, we will remotely deploy your machine. Let's get started by installing the Smart Deploy client on your target devices. In this example, we're going to install the client manually so you can see the process. But in production, you can fully automate the installation, which most customers do using group policy. Now, on the target device, we'll double-click the .exe file and walk through the simple installation wizard. Click Next. Read and accept the EULA and click Next. All we need to specify is the computer name or IP address of the Smart Deploy console. Click Next and Install to complete the installation. Now looking at the console host, select the Computer Management tab and verify that the Smart Deploy client has established a connection with your console. Now that the target device and console can communicate, we're set up to push an image to this device. But before we do that, we need to specify what we want pushed using a deployment package. From the Smart Deploy console, we will now create a deployment package containing the image, platform pack, and answer file to be deployed to the endpoint. Select Deployment Packages from the left menu. Click the plus button and select Create a Deployment Package. The Media Wizard will launch. Click Next and select Create Deployment Package. Here we will select all the platform packs for the target machines you want to include. For remote imaging with Smart Deploy, we'll need to create an answer file. Smart Deploy does this using a simple wizard. This makes your deployment zero touch. If you already created an answer file using Smart Deploy, you can provide it here. Otherwise, click Create. Clicking the Advanced button displays a number of additional options. Here you can change the default window settings, modify computer naming options, or run a custom script. Select the Client tab and check the box to install the Smart Deploy Enterprise client during deployment. Enter the computer name or IP address of your Smart Deploy console host and click OK to save. Browse to the image you want to deploy. Click Open and then click Next. The Disk Options pane allows you to specify how you want the hard disks on the target device to be provisioned. The Recreate Drives option is selected by default. This option simply performs a clean install and removes all previous data. Alternatively, the Wipe and Load Drives option will protect a particular drive structure. For example, if you tell your users to put their data in C colon backup, Smart Deploy will keep those files while installing the new image. This option is also useful for more advanced Windows migration scenarios and integrates nicely with the Microsoft User State Migration tool. If you don't enter a product key when capturing the image, you'll be prompted for one here. We are then shown many of the typical Windows Mini setup options. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the wizard with your specifications. On the Network Identification page, you'll see the existing computer name. You can manually change it here or modify the default naming conventions and the advanced options at the beginning of this answer file wizard. You'll also see the option to join the domain. If you have that information, enter it here, and Smart Deploy will automatically add the machine to your domain. For demo purposes, we'll leave the machine in workgroup mode. Clicking Next, you'll see a summary of the selections you've made. Click Finish to create your answer file and save it to the specified location. Mark this answer file for use in unattended installation. This will allow for a zero-touch deployment. Enter your credentials to access your Smart Deploy console host and click OK. Now, back in the Media Wizard, Smart Deploy has selected the answer file we just created. Click Next. Select the media architecture that matches your image. Enter a name for your deployment package and click Finish to create your deployment media. Click All Computers to see the devices you have connected with the Smart Deploy client to your console. To deploy our image, we'll right-click on our target device and navigate to Deploy, then select Now. The Deploy screen will appear. If you have multiple deployment packages, you can select the one you want to use from the drop-down. 
Once you click OK, the target device will automatically reboot into Smart PE and deploy your image using the answer file you created. Smart Deploy will show status along the way, but what happens is we reprovision the hard disk, lay down the new image, and run sysprep for you here at deployment time. In roughly 10 minutes, the machine will be ready to go for the user at the Control Delete screen. You have now successfully deployed an image to a target device over your network. Please register for the next live demo, or learn more at smartdeploy.com or deploycentral.com. Please contact sales at smartdeploy.com or give us a call at 888-7-DEPLOY for additional information.